welcome back. This week I'm making embroidered patches to memorialize my late cat Beatrice. You could use this technique to create an embroidered patch from any image really. I'm just going to walk you through the things that I did, but there's a bunch of different tools that you could use instead for each step basically. I started in Photoshop and I cropped down the photo I wanted to use and put it in grayscale. And then I increased the contrast and played with the levels so that the whites were very light and the blacks were very dark. That way I'm going to bring out all of the detail when I simplify the image. Then I'll go to Image Adjustments Posterize and this is going to reduce the number of colors in the image and it corresponds with the number of colors of floss you want to use in your embroidery. And for me that's four plus an accent color for my pretty kitty's eyes. Then I went to print it at different sizes on a piece of paper because I wasn't sure exactly what size I wanted it to be and I found that if I reduced the opacity of the image uh, it was easier for me to trace it later. Then I used a small tip micron pen to trace the different regions uh, so that I could see them better when I put it on top of my light mat. This thing is super awesome by the way. Then I chose a light colored fabric to place on top of the drawing and used my water soluble marking pen to trace the drawing again onto the fabric. The ink from this pen will disappear later when I spritz the whole thing with water. Then I put the fabric in an embroidery hoop and started stitching. I used an embroidery stitch called the satin stitch, which is just many stitches right next to each other that fill up a whole field. And I was a little bit loose about where the stitches started and ended. I just didn't want any of them to be like too long so that they would hang off the patch. I repeated the process for several more images of my pretty kitty and uh, printed them out at all different sizes to get a variety going. And um, on the smaller ones I found that I only needed to use like half of the strand of embroidery floss, otherwise the line was kind of too chunky for the overall size of the patch. At this point it's just a regular embroidery, you could uh, stick it to a mat and frame it like this, uh, but I wanted to cut it out and turn it into a patch. So I tried a couple different edge finishing techniques, the first of which was just to do a binding stitch with the embroidery floss all the way around the edge, but that didn't work out as well as I had hoped with the fabric being a little bit flexible and it, it sort of made the edges a little ruffly. So then I switched to the sewing machine and I would sew one straight line around and then a zigzag stitch and then I'd cut it and then do a zigzag stitch to capture that raw edge and that sort of seemed to work the best for me, but I still wish I could have finished the whole thing by hand. Embroidered patches go great on jackets and bags and hats you know, anywhere, and you can pin it in place with safety pins or sew it in place permanently or even glue it. I chose to sew this one onto my jean jacket. These patches were a whole lot of fun to make and I got to spend that time sort of reminiscing about my sweet kitty and um, I think it's a great way to memorialize a dear friend. Besides the ones we're keeping in the family, uh, the rest of these patches are going to be given away to my Patreon supporters, so check out the link in the description for more info about how you can get in on that. And also check out the art print I made of all of these embroidered patches and the backs of the embroideries. I put that in my digital shop. Thank you so much for watching. I publish new videos every week about DIY projects like this one or involving technology and about my life in New York City. See you next time.